Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about abstract classes and abstract methods. Um, what an abstract class is, is pretty much a combination of an actual class and an interface. Um, by default, in an interface, every method written is abstract because you don't instantiate any method. You write the method header, such as public void, um, do something, and then you put a semicolon instead of opening up some curly brackets and putting some code in there. So I'm going to show you what an abstract class is and inside of it what abstract methods are. So I'm just going to call this um, thing and you can make it abstract right here if you want. It's not necessary because you, but you would have to go in here and write out public abstract as the reserve word class thing and you can treat it like a class such as giving it instance variables let's just say string name and we can give it a constructor if we want public thing take a string name and we'll say this dot name equals the name that you passed in and let's say we want to know what it does but each thing uh, object that will extend thing will have different methods so you're not sure exactly how you want to code this method yet so you can make it abstract just like a uh, interface except for other things are implemented so you can have you know half implemented stuff and half things that need to be implemented which are abstract so to make an abstract method what we would say is public abstract and I'm going to just say void uh, what I do and it'll just uh, when I implement that it's just going to print out a statement of what the thing does and we can also say public abstract void uh, let's say start running or just start okay and we can and you can have other methods that actually do stuff such as public um I don't know string get name name all right now if we wanted to come over here and create a thing object let's try that thing we'll call it little t thing equals new thing and we'll pass in um, a, a door we're getting an error and it says you cannot instantiate the type thing. So what this means is any abstract class cannot be instantiated uh, and create objects from. So you need to have a class that extends this and then you can run that class and instantiate objects from that. So let's create, I'm just going to say computer and we are going to say the super class this thing Okay, so if you go here, we can add the constructor. Let's get rid of these to do things. And um, let's uh, like add unimplemented methods. Yep, right here. And it says what I do and start. So here is where you actually say what it does. And in the computer's case, do a sys out control space to get the system.out.print line and we will say I compute and here we can do sysout computer starting okay nothing special or fancy and when you go here remember you don't want to 
plain object. So let's create a computer object. Let's we'll say comp equals new computer. And we'll say, give that a name of PC. Okay, so now you can call these methods comp dot. Um, you can get get name that comes from the thing class that uh, got passed down through inheritance, and we have the start method, and we have comp dot is what I do. Let's see how this works. So you get the methods going. So that's what an abstract class is, it is a class that, for one, you can instantiate, but it's pretty much a mixture between an interface and a regular class. Um, it comes in handy when an interface, you set up everything to be abstract, where maybe in some cases there's certain things that you want pre-coded, so you don't always have to recode them every time you, you implement the interface into a new class. So this is an in-betweener I guess you could say and please join me next we're going to start getting into exceptions uh, you've probably seen pretty, some examples of when Eclipse makes me either create a try catch clause or throws an exception and now we're going to get into why that happens and how to write them better and have a full understanding of them so thank you and please subscribe below